y'all. Welcome back to Dixie Garage. So I got something really cool to show y'all today. Watch this. VTX is done. There's only one more thing I want to do to it, and that's just strip the chrome off of this air cleaner cover and paint that satin black, and I'll probably put the Dixie logo on it, but she's all done and ready to go. So, now on to the next project. No, I'm just kidding. Man. We ain't doing that shit. Alright, so here it is right here. The Virago got the tank done i already got contacted by a guy about it and i haven't even listed it yet so it might end up selling without me even working on it which is good and bad i mean it saves me the work but i like finishing a product so but uh anyways what i want to do is i want to chop the frame leave the seat as it is and probably just do without a, a rear fender like i did with the vtx uh this fuel pump stuff like uh, he had it right here that shit's not gonna work. I'll end up running it like right along the frame right here. So it's out of the way. It's all this extra fuel line that's gotta go. Uh, performance wise, the bike runs great. It's extra loud. I'm gonna black the engine out. And get rid of the push cable because there was no way to make it work. And push cables are really useless anyways. I'm gonna get rid of all this 90s model looking gauge cluster because you know, I don't like any of that stuff. I never use gauges. I always use a phone mount. Um, only reason I left them on my bike is because there's a tank vent. I'll show you. There's a tank vent that goes underneath here. And I can't bypass that or else my tank could cave in. And so that was the only reason I didn't shave the gauges off right there. Because I would love to get rid of that crap. But anyways... Yeah, you ain't seen the Virago in a while, the Virago chopper. Yep. Now that we're back over here, I'm caught up on paint. You know, that one's done. The VTX is done. The Virago's been painted. So now that we're back over here, I got the, uh, I got the tank and the cabinet there for the Sportster. But yeah, basically another bare bones chopper. You know, that's really kind of my style, man. I like to keep it as minimal as possible. This thing runs great. Now that we did the two into one and fixed that uh, stripped head, it runs awesome. Got to replace that fuel filter. That looks pretty nasty. But I have a side mounted plate for it. The Z bars are a little different than the style I like to use. I like to use what's on my wife's Virago over there. But, uh, We'll probably still work with those man they're not uncomfortable plus they're seven eights you don't have a whole lot of variety out there for seven eights i love z bars that's just not really the ones i usually use and so but yeah other than that man it looks like we're gonna be i gotta get rid of the blue on the wheels it just doesn't match that it kind of look makes it look cheap anyways you know we'll end up blacking everything out the only blue is probably going to remain the tank. It's still got to be buffed. Uh, I got to get this stupid visor off of there and then I'll put an LED and some spike grips, man. And that's really going to be it. It'll be a pretty quick one, pretty easy one. It already ran great. So it didn't give me all the problems that the VTX did. All right. First thing, I'm going to get this seat off. Um, probably mess with this fuel pump, set it where I want it. There's all that extra line. So it, I'm going to try and get it right here is going to be the goal. I'm just going to have to cut a bunch off of each end and get it exactly how I want to put it. Fender's going to probably just get chopped, uh, cause the seat comes to right there. Pretty much covers that. Probably just straight across right here. Looks fine to me. Uh, there's a little bottom section of the fender that I believe is separate from the actual fender. That motorcycle. One second. 
Give me one second. Yeah, anytime I'm here, I've always got people stopping by asking about the bikes and how much they cost or, you know, what's going on with them. So, lady just stopped by and asked. Guess they're waiting on tax return. VTX might be going pretty quick. But let's see if we can't get this one ready. There's a uh, there's a little flea market downtown I'd like to get them both set up at next weekend if the VTX hasn't already sold. They look real good side by side. Fuel pump situation is much better now. That's a that's a much cleaner look. I mean, it's still a little bit in the way, but I didn't really know where they actually should go. But at least it's not right up on the frame like that. I didn't like that at all. And I replaced the fuel filter while I was there. See, I made a mess. Um, but yeah, so that's all good to go. Now I'm gonna get the tank off. I do need to do some touch up to the frame, but I'm gonna wait until after I chop it. So I gotta figure out a something with how I'm gonna do that frame. So that's not complete, but just wanted to show the update, the progress for now. Uh, we moved the fuel pump down, went from there to down there, shortened all the line up so it kind of looks a little cleaner. Got the headlight in. It doesn't really fit in that bucket, so it kind of sticks out a little bit, but it still looks better than a factory headlight, and it's a whole lot more functional. I'm going to see if I can get some kind of mount up top here, something. Gauge cluster gone. Still got to black out the engine and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, got to do the side-mounted plate. And then after that, it'll be ready to be parked right up there with the VTX. So we're going to take a break from that one because all that's left to do is some paint and a side-mounted plate. And I can't do either of those today because I'm still waiting on the plate and it's like 40 degrees. So painting's not happening. Back to the Sportster at least for a few minutes just gonna swap the bars out originally we were doing this on a budget i mean it's still on a budget but it's not a tight budget anymore so those bars are gone it was just we kind of tried to bend up some bagger bars and make it happen plenty of stuff to come still got a mouth the fender do the chop the back of the seat pan rewrap the seat stuff like that a lot of painting has to get done but that's not happening today. Also, I had bought a Harley basket case a while back and uh, it came with some iron head. They're curved out pipes and uh, I told him he could have them for his and I'll just keep those slash cuts. So he liked that idea and uh, we're gonna paint those black. Basically everything's going black except the rockers and that little starter cover right there but for now let's just get the bars on <laughs> 